All right, people, welcome back. More daily duels. We're almost done. I, 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 I only gotta stop uh, saying more daily duels because soon there'll be no more. This is episode 999. 999, wow. Didn't think I would uh, be reaching uh, this point one day, but here we are in episode 999. Like I said tomorrow is the 1000th episode daily duel grand live stream. It's gonna be four hours long from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. and this is the last time I had to shameless plug that. So yay! Uh, so is this man just going to go into crystal meth? Cause you already know this what this deck does. Like dragoonies, you already know they, they love themselves some crystal meth. Love some, themselves some crystal meth. So you get to go ahead and add that and pitch that, especially some of that, some of that. Like <laughs> he ain't done yet. He might have. He might bust out two crystal meth, people. Cause that's totally what we need to do. Oh, Coral Dragon. Oh, so you're gonna go into Ultimate to Zolkin? No, no, no. Now he's gonna go into a tomb, then detach, then summon Redem, and then Redem will summon back that. And then, where is he going? What's the end result? I thought I thought it was just a simple Crystal Nest play. This man is going. He is going. Wow, it says once per turn, but it doesn't say, you know, like, you can only use the effect once per turn, so he leaves the field, comes back, and then bam, he gets to use the effect again. And this card says, this card is sent from the hand, you should go ahead and summon, okay, and then another rank six, like... God, I, I wish, I wish Tyler has Regeki. It would be funny as fuck if this guy just does all this shit and he just gets hit with a Regeki. That'd be funny. Okay. 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 And banish that, summon back to let him again. Yeah, and then summon back the Gate Dirge again, because why not? And then use this effect again. Yeah. Gate Dirge says once per turn, but if you use the field and come back, it doesn't say like you only use the effect of Gate Dirge once per turn, so we, yay! So add that, pitch that, so that special summon that. <laughs> like this the Gate Dirge deck, like screw vagina, screw your vagina, you just use Gate Dirge, just add this and pitch it. Like, alright. Okay. So it's hot red. Then special summon. Oshi, because you happen to control a black wing, which happens to be that first elite, just so you can go into that was, that was complicated, like... And in the end, he didn't go into Crystal Math like I thought he would. Like, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, 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 sure. So, uh, does this negate on the field, or just when a card is activated, period? When you play turn, you start one face of a card your opponent controls, yeah, so... Don't have to control it first, so you pitch a special summon and scout soldier go off on the field, but then get negated by Abyss, yep. And then you catch this Regeki, boy! <laughs> oh, that'd be nice, that'd be nice. <laughs> he would probably end up quitting, I mean, at least he has Beatrice, and I mean, I don't think he would have Beatrice, or at least, you know, like, the Dante Pilgrim backing her up, why not? All you gotta do is just throw in the extra deck and she'll actually go into something else, which is not terrible. I'm just kind of wondering if Tiago has anything else, because, I mean... Kind of negged on that one. That play was kind of a neg. Okay, Beatrice will detach and send something else now. Oh, oh, of course, you gotta send the gospel. Of course. Just in case, just in case he, he had the Gecky. Just in case. Fucking gospel. <laughs> Tell me why they make that card. Uh. So it's like, yeah, now you can't fuck with these two, which are probably the ones that you wanna fuck with the most, but you can't fuck with them. But yeah, you can only use the effect of Galaxy Soldier once per turn. That doesn't say uh, activate, because technically he uh, got negated. But he used the effect, just got negated. So no search on that one. So uh, kind of wondering what you're gonna do now. You're just gonna go into Infinity. Infinity is fine. It's just like, how are we gonna handle all of this? I guess you could take him, and you'll be 29. But. All he needs to do, all his partner needs to do is literally just summon a level 4 with the Zephyros. Like, the play is already set. Oh, you can run him over. You can run him over. Only dragons will be protected, so. Just eat him and then run him over. And then I can hopefully kill the Beatrice during uh, the other partner's turn, which hopefully they're not running, like, burning the base or anything like that. I kill the Beatrice and then she won't float in anything. Like, this guy. Because we're doing against Subway, eat fresh people. Uh, this video is sponsored by Subway. It's not. <laughs> like, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not nearly big enough to have any kind of sponsorship. Like, oh, Dollar Shave Club with the, uh, um, this is, this is performed by, uh, Audible Dollar Shave. Oh, really? I thought you were just gonna take hot. Can you not, like, be targeted or something? 
to get you like, oh, I'd rather take the Redim. I don't know. I don't know. I thought you'd rather take Hot, because you can't Hot just run your ass over next turn. Like, you don't even have to do anything. He literally just runs your ass over unless you have an Honest or something. But this only negates things that are phased upon the field. Like, Meals on Wheels. Oh, that's... Okay. <laughs> Oh, and this is just Infinity Dot Deck, so. <laughs> yep, so Infinity Dot Deck and Abyss. Let's go, people. Let's go. Alright, this is gonna be a tough one. Yeah, you can negate that, but then he can negate you. <laughs> and then go into his own Infinity, and then Infinity snaps your ass up. Like, like this is clearly Infinity Dot Deck. He even, he even played Quick Draw. That's when you know it's Infinity Dot Deck. When Quick Draw's up in the bitch. Like, alright. Nah. Yeah, you, get to, you get to shut the fuck up, make an infinity, no infinity, infinity dot deck, put in quick draw just to go into infinity. Like, I remember when I used to play a deck, I did not want to play a deck anymore because it was just, it's just so simple. It's like, it's like baby, it's like Yu-Gi-Oh for babies. <laughs> and it's like all these solemn judgment ass monsters in this game of Yu-Gi-Oh. It's like, oh my god, Konami. Like, you want to just throw a fucking totally awesome too? <laughs> Like, there's no way. There's no fucking way. And the sad thing is, even if Tiago has an Honest... Like, if Tiago doesn't have an Honest or something... Okay, so why didn't you take... Why didn't you do the Redum? I don't understand. I mean, the, I mean the Hot hot Red. Like, I don't give a shit about Redum. You would've snatched up the Hot Red and been stronger than the Redum. Was there anything really threatening in the graveyard that he could have summoned for your Cyber Dragon? Then you would have at least had the Hot Red negate your freaking Infinity, so when he went to his Infinity, like, mm, I'm gonna ask Tiago about that, I don't like that. Why didn't you snatch up the Hot Red? And then just keep it as an extreme material. That way the Redum can't even send him back. Like, I, I, I can't get through this shit. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. <laughs> like, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? Like, please tell me what the fuck I'm supposed to do here. I said, all he had to do was run you over? All he had to do was run you over. Like, it just happened to be like he was playing Infinity.Dex, so he went into his own Infinity, but all he had to fucking do was just run your bitch ass over. So... I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna wait and see how, how far I can get until he, he'll be like, hell no. Your deck to your hand, and you gotta win yourself back from your graveyard. Okay. Cause I already know that I am gonna get it. Like, you're facing down Abyss and fucking Infinity. Like, you might as well scoop. <laughs> you're just gonna neg on resources too much. You could just go negate, and then negate that, and then I'll be like, alright, I'm done. Glad that you left this Abyss here, Tiago. <laughs> Like, maybe if it was just the Infinity, I might be able to do it, but leaving the Abyss there, too? Like, come on, man. And then, then this will negate, and then I'll be like, alright, GG. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> and even the plays I'm doing aren't nearly that fantastic. That's a sad thing, yeah. Glad you left that Abyss there, Tiago. Thank you. Thank you. Like, was there something preventing it from being targeted or something? Because anything that you could have done to that Redim, you could have done to that, so I, I don't know. Maybe you're like, oh, if I leave the red him, he'll come back hot red, and hot red will blow things up, I guess. I don't know. But just leaving this abyss here. Without... Like, that was, that was, that was dumb. That was, that was... <sighs> GG. GG. <laughs> Can't wait for that four-hour live stream tomorrow, where I'll just be doing this. <laughs> Ah, uh, yesterday's video was Tumor, and then now we're literally facing down Infinity.net and the guy who can bust out of base and Crystal Math. Like, I'm actually legitimately waiting for him to get some Crystal Math too. He feels kind of full now, but... I mean, hey, he's got that level, he's got that tuner. Hey, I can warning him! I can, I can warning him, man! Oh, you're just gonna eat him? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna leave it to Chaka. He, he dug us in this hole, I'll let him get us, get us out of it. I'd much rather him fucking just use Redim to summon that hot red and blow up the infinity than freaking deal with both of these, cause there's just... It's, it's, it's just too difficult. I'm not warning that. I mean, we're gonna die anyway, so fuck it. Oh right, Gospel. I forgot about that stupid card. 
Yeah, we lose. We lose. Let me say it didn't matter anyway. We were gonna lose anyway. GG. GG. <laughs> uh, I don't like cyber. I don't. I don't like just blanket negating monsters. I think they're stupid. Like, I think they're one of the dumbest mechanics in Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, well, we'll get another duel. Bear back. All right, another duel. Like Terry was like, oh yeah, I I didn't because red would. It, he had red protected, so then he could summon it back, but it would be a C material. And your Cyber Dragon Affinity would be 2900, which is stronger than Redem, so Redem couldn't even crash. Wait, ugh. Wait, uh, who cares about that? Who cares? Okay, so he's talking about Scar, right? Who cares? At least it's not leaving a bitch on the fucking field. <laughs> like, why would you leave a fucking monster that can negate your infinity on the field? It's dumb. Like, oh, I have the infinity. I negate with infinity. He negates you your infinity. And that's exactly how it went down. Like, like, nah, I'd, I'd rather risk my chances with fucking Redem and fucking Scarrite than do that. And at least Scarrite would wipe everybody in attack position. Or was it hot? It was hot red. It was hot red. But yeah, he'd wipe everybody in attack position. And if he wants to put his Redem to defense mode, hey, that's fine with me. Like, nah, I didn't like that. Clearing that can't be destroyed by card effects. Awesome. Well, that's fun for both of us. <laughs> that's pretty much all I do is activate level five or higher effects in this deck. Like, I can pre. Oh, and he's got soul charge too. Foolish! It's a soul charge. Come on. And he already opened up with broke ass Terratop. Please hit me right now, Terratop. <laughs> so. Might as well make a fucking... My like first turn Soul Charge is probably one of the dumbest plays. Like, you shouldn't be able to activate Soul Charge first turn. Like, one of the things about Soul Charge is that, hey, you can't conduct your battle phase. I can't conduct my battle phase anyway. I'm going first, so... Soul Charge. <laughs> Overextend like hella. Nope. Okay. So then you synchro summon again. Now you have a Crystal Mask who can't be destroyed by Cartifax. Um, a Kendama. A Charge Charge Trump Warrior. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. God, I'm seeing Abyss, Infinity, like all of this. Oh, and Scoop. I'm not sure if Tiago scooped or they scooped or what. I don't know. We're right back again. All right. Apparently, it was the opponent who quit because Tiago said it wasn't me. So that's fine. <laughs> like I, I don't know why the other guy quit. I guess he's like, man, fucking Crystal Meth is too strong. Can't forget your white card effect. No, fuck that. I, I'm gonna challenge. We're just gonna beat their ass real quick. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Ah, uh, uh, that break that break seems better and better and better between yesterday's video and this tag shit and like <laughs> I actually want to do something. Like we're 13, 13 minutes into this video and I haven't really done shit. Like everything I tried to do, I just got my shit negated. So yay. <laughs> oh no, oh no. We already know. When you see Quillbalt Hunchog, you already know it's about to go down. He's about to go into a fucking rank two shenanigans. All you need to do is have a face up turn on the field, and that card can just keep on getting summoned and summoned and summoned. He says, if this card leaves the field, but it's not, because it's going to get detached to XC material. So, like, come on, like, level eater, quail ball, like, you're just taking advantage of all these old card, all these cards that are old, old card decks. <laughs> just, just keep that turn on the field, and you get to keep on exceeding and summoning quail ball. You get multiple quail balls in the graveyard. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> Cause they think that, oh yeah, you're just gonna go ahead and, you know, synchro summon with it. This card will get banished. It's not a graveyard anymore. But nope, nope. Just summon back XE, detach, summon back XE, detach, summon back XE, detach. Like, ugh. <laughs> like, can I just put one Ultimaya? Like, how can, can I get the broken shit? <laughs> I got some fucking Abyss and fucking Infinity and fucking. Even Tadigo does Infinity. Like, can I? Can I, can I do my big play? My grand f fuck you play? <laughs> I'm the only one who didn't do it because I'm like almost always last. <laughs> I think I am always last because Tiago, if he wins Black Priest, he generally likes to go second. This plays a stronger second additional card, which means that I'm always last. So either Tiago is doing great and doesn't need my help between the two of them, or like the first duel, we're fucked beyond belief, so there's no point in me playing. Like if it was just Abyss, 
it's just the best, maybe. But in Sin plus the best, like, oh, hell no, nah, to the no, no, no. You're throwing fucking tree toad on that shit, too. Fucking Harold. <laughs> Like, I, I don't, I don't like Fallen Judgment at Swanson's. I think they're dumb. I hate all of them. It's like, why? Why would you ever give a monster that kind of strength? Ever. Why would you ever give a monster that kind of strength? But, hey, that's Konami for you. It's like, it's like Thunder King Ryo. Like, why would you ever give a walking mistake in, in a fucking Blackhorn? Why would you ever do that, you know? Especially with their own high stats. That's the problem. Is that these monsters that have these solemn effects, they generally have high-ish stats. Like, they're over 2k and you have a fucking negate? Like, come on, man. Like, Tree Toad and Lagia and Infinity and just, like, you know, Harold. Well, he doesn't have over... Well, he has over... The booty. Definitely has the booty. Oh. Shadals. And I guess he didn't get into a Shadal fusion. That would have been nice. <laughs> but that fell ground on the field, so... Guess he's gonna go summon among pitch a spell and maybe Felgram will go no. <laughs> and then you could just take that swift negma dog. Yep, pitch your insta fusion. You might have another one, I wouldn't be surprised. If he goes Felgram the gate and you just go insta fusion just to summon the Northern. Another one. Is that okay with you, Tiago? Is that okay if he uh summons up with that summoner monk instead of taking that neg? I love when my opponent's neg. I guess you're waiting for something to actually threaten Felgren. Oh, he just asked me right now. Yeah, hold on. Alright. Let's the, at the tag on Sky. I was wondering if he was gonna like ask me. Like that would Like either or it's fine. Just waiting for the turn. It's just I don't like the idea of summoning from the back. Like he could summon any any level four from the back. Like that could easily set him up for additional plays. Now, if he answers you by simply just going insta fusion for another Norn, that's fine, but I said he already conducted his normal summon, so it might just be the end of his turn, which it seems like it was, which is awesome. I can go with that. I can go with that. So I guess I'll just summon an ultimate to Zulkin, because that's what this deck does. Like <laughs> I said I that's what I do is at this deck. <laughs> I'll just normal summon you. And then special summon a level six erratic monster. These little fives, man, they're not the greatest, but they do their job when it's time. They all I have to do is just and if I have to do a ring five play, then I got it. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm afraid of him having another one. Another instant fusion. Yep. That's what I was thinking too. I was like, if you had another instant fusion, you could have just did an enabling place. Alright, so do a normal summon you, special summon you, tribute you, summon, summon, ultimate, set this, crystal meth, tap, tap. Oh, and I can turn Galaxy Soldier to attack mode, because why not? He didn't die. <laughs> that Aqua Realm and Ar Galaxy Soldier actually just sits there until the next turn, so he actually gets to get turned to attack mode and be a 2000 attacker, because why not? No, no so without tribute. Fuck it, I'll just keep the Galaxy Soldier. I don't need him. I mean, maybe it'll go full circle until I go with my using for an Infinity play or a Pleiades play. I don't know. God, this guy has a shit ton of delay. Like, he he must have something, something in his hand. Something in his hand. The fuck? <laughs> it's always just waiting, 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 waiting. Like, you have an effect veiler. You're just waiting for me to do... Oh, now you play Maxi? Now you play Maxi. All right, my dog. Oh. I'm kind of wondering if I even want to do anything, any, anything else. I mean, going to the Infinity play is really strong. I mean, the, the Crystal Mech play, but it, I would, he, he would draw three cards. Because he's going to draw this, draw the, the that, and set and draw for that. I think it's better than just leaving it like this, though. I'll take the challenge. The only thing that I don't like is that he's playing fucking shit alls, clearly. So, you know, we're going to have shit from something from the extra deck on the field, so. But we have Strike. Well, Strike, a Crystal Mech, and a Felgram is pretty strong. And maybe, maybe an infinity next turn with Diego. I pretty much just gave this man a brand new hand. I don't like that. That's the shit I don't like. I was thinking if they had like a Regeki, I guess I could go ahead and have Felgrand protect the Crystal Mech, but then Crystal Mech's effect would be negated, so I wouldn't do too much. And then you, I mean, you would die regardless. 
I guess the play I could do would be Felgrim and block the Ultimaya and then, you know, try to hold him off with the strike. But he doesn't kill the Ultimaya. But all you have to do is just normal summon, not activate an effect, and then run it over since there's no, uh, with the Synchro Monster to protect. So it might just be best to go Felgrim and block the Crystal Mask from dying and then protect with strike. What the fuck is that? My opponent goes to attack, express on this card in my hand. This card battles an opponent's monster. I don't know if you destroy the opponent's monster with this card. Extend from the field to the graveyard by a card effect. And this card destroy a battle. You can add one Predator Clan card from your deck to your hand. Oh, so Predator Clan's got another card. I mean, still kind of slow, but alright. Crystal Mask will just go ahead and negate you for right now. Like, you just go away. Ooh, look at that 100 attack gain. So strong. It says on the field to the graveyard, so you won't even get your search effect. So you can go ahead and catch that 31. So that was a that was an egg. So that's nice. It makes me feel a little bit better about the whole uh, uh, Maxi thing. <laughs> Just a little bit. Now, if we get Regeki, then I'm gonna be kind of pissed because it's fucking Regeki, man. That is, uh, kill, this card, this card is so skillless. <laughs> Just like Team APS is like, there's no luck in Yu-Gi-Oh! And I was like, oh my god, dude, Yu-Gi-Oh! takes no skill. It's like, well, if there's no luck and it takes no skill, then what is this fucking game? <laughs> yeah? What is this fucking game? I'm actually okay with that. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna wait until you do something to threaten me. Did you have a librarian? No, Axel Synchro. No. Actually, you know what? Probably should have stopped that. Now that I think about it, probably should have stopped that. Because he's gonna send Jet. Like, uh, that, that was that was a bad thing. That was a bad thing, is that he gets to send Jet. But hey, if he wants to go ahead and use Jet. Alright, so, I'll Quill Bolt. What, your own Crystal Meth? I, do. I, I forgot what this card does. Dream Castle. This card attacks the defense. Attacks the defense switch monster on your field. Uh, when your opponent controls this trial, defense opponent to control during your opponent's trial. Other monsters you control that did not declare it. So you have to declare an attack on the defense position monster to white. But you can run over Felbrand, and that's not cool. So because of the fact that you can run over Felbrand. If Felgrand wasn't there, I wouldn't care, because you can't attack this anyway. You have to go through Crystal Meth. Still got a Crystal Meth and a Felgrand. You ain't done yet. Okay. Put your Venera, summon her back, Venera will mill you one. Okay. Ah, <sighs> we're still good. Yep. Uh... I don't know if Tango has anything in his extra deck for Crystal Meth. I mean, uh, I mean, Ultima, he might. Doesn't seem probable, but he might. No, he does. No idea. Wait, how would he even go into that monster? Unless he has. Wait, I think Tiago also plays Ultima. That makes sense. Tiago, I remember Tiago also plays Ultima. Just throwing some Goku with the Galaxy Soldier, and then Pam, there you go. It just happens to be that, you know, I summon that Ultimaya and then Tiago can use it too. And yay! What's better than one Crystal Meth, two Crystal Meth? I mean, literally, straight up. These straight up these duels. Both from us and our opponents have just been bust out unbre unbre unbreakable boards. Unbreakable boards. Unbreakable boards. Yu-Gi-Oh, right? I mean, this guy gave a couple of cards. I wouldn't be surprised if he's just like, Rodaki. <laughs> that would suck. Like, I, I'm not sure if I would've went into another Crystal Meth. I'm not sure if Tiago has anything else in his deck deck. I'm not sure if it's just Ultimaya and Crystal Meth, but if he had any other rank, uh, I mean, Sync 8, I probably would've wanted to like Bills. Maybe, maybe Stardust Spark if you run it. Because <laughs> uh, Regeki right now would suck. All right, never mind, I scooped. Uh, we're gonna get another duel. We're gonna get another duel because, like I said, Tiago, he'll probably be there at the live stream, but you know, he's in talk, so. Well, I mean, we're probably still tagging with him, whatever, but yeah. So, be right back. All right, we're back. Uh, and Tiago, Realize the error of his ways. Like, if you would have took the Redim, 
I mean, if you attack their best, you would have been 2900, which means that you've been stronger than the red. Now, we didn't calculate dealing with the infinity, right? If you were to activate the infinity, you just couldn't negate and kill them. Now, you still had to deal with infinity, but at least it would have been better to deal with infinity instead of infinity plus an abyss. Like, infinity plus an abyss is just fuck, you know? <laughs> it's like the opponent just busting out two Bahamut sharks and going to two tree toads. It's like, ah, oh, shit, <laughs> you know? It's like, ah, oh, I think he and Demi Tiago go first. It's not very often that Tiago goes first. Because if Tiago was going second, I would have been able to get my hands out. I wonder what Tiago's gonna do. Just maybe take it slow. Just set up maybe one card, if that, in this turn. It's not very often that Tiago goes first, and not very often that Tiago does anything going first. Just like to hold on to his resources. I mean, if he could bust out like a Foul Grand or Infinity or something, or Power to you, but. You know that powerful Maxi. That Maxi challenge, my boy. I'm just saying, I'm just happy that that, uh, that shit all guy didn't draw into a Regaki, because I've been like, oh, I've been so salty. <laughs> so salty, so, so salty. <laughs> I can't remember or not if this deck has Dark Holes and Regekis. It should. I always play Dark Holes and Regekis in, uh, in tag. It's, cause it's just an easy win card. It's, it's easy just to blow out one of your opponents and then, you know, do, do a two-on-one. All right, so. XL light, then summon, tribute, and get a search, and end your turn. It's not terrible. Deck then end, get what you want. Uh, can't normal summon this turn, so. Yeah, just one Tone Twister. Got one set. Boop, Tone Twister. True bastard, all right. <laughs> Now you'd be smart and only set one. <laughs> Just one. Nope, nope, you set two. Nope, yep, you're gonna get it. You're gonna learn today. <laughs> Don't set, it was set, if you're gonna set more, two, at least set more than two. Don't just set two. That'd be bad. Oh my god. <laughs> just asking for it. Bring that ass here, boy. <laughs> yep. Mmm. So I go flip that up real quick. Get that out of here. Get that striking warning out of here. Wow, they quit. Oh my god, all right, get another duel, be right back. All right, back, and uh, I mean, that answers my question. I was like, do I have a Geki in here? It's right there. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah. Why go into your uh, dust play when you can just go to this? I didn't think I was gonna see something like, like all we need is like Herald, like, and oh, and Tree Town. But we've seen like, Everything, everything in this fucking duel. Uh, yep, there he is. Oh, that would be fun to deal with. Oh no, yep. That would be fun to deal with because this fucker is like the king of all because he tributes himself, which means that he hops out away of anything that can threaten him after the death settles. You know? I, c I can fucking. If I were you, I'd negate that with salt. I would. Like that. That neg. That neg. Come on. You yeah. know? It's just like, okay, uh, Rodeki. Infinity negate. Hit you with something else. It's gone. Done. You know? But assault mode's like, activate something. Tribute to negate. I'm gonna be coming back during the end phase. You know? It's like, it's like you got an abyss dweller. <laughs> you, got, you, got, you, got you gotta stop him and then abyss dweller. <laughs> you gotta bait him and then abyss dweller. It's just, mm -hmm. Which, I mean, it's not too terrible. It's just, you, you have to have the resources for it and the plays for it. It's, it's you know, situational. I'll, uh, Miss Dweller, of course, is like one of the king rank fours, you know. Like, so you put in your Topia, your Topia Lightning, your Miss Dweller, your Castell. Wow, you're just gonna tribute off right now. Okay. He's like, fuck that. <coughs> so, if Diago can bust out an Affinity, doesn't this card activate? I believe it does. Yeah, you can special summon this card. So I believe it activates the coming back, and you can just be like, nah, Infinity says no. So, I don't know, I don't know. That'd be great if he could. It's like, damn, he's throwing fucking speed reds with fucking Assault Mode Activate too? Like, ugh. So, I'm saying, is there like a, is there like a rank 8 that you can go into to handle this situation? Okay. What does Cypher do, though? Okay. <coughs> well, I guess Cypher Blade is stronger than it, so that's nice. 
I mean, I, I just won't activate anything in main phase one to just attack over it. Hopefully, it's still on the field. Yeah. I guess Tiago didn't have it. I'm not sure what he what did he add with Galaxy Soldier. If Galaxy, I think I would just went Galaxy Soldier pitch special summon to get a Galaxy Soldier, and if I had something else to pitch special summon that going to Infinity. <laughs> this activates any end phase. Couldn't negate it. That was Infinity. I mean, this play is still fine if the Cipher Blade is still in the field. If not, then. Yeah, it's gonna be some deep shit for me. I have to bait him with a Geki and go into. I guess I go into Ultima, just open the Crystal Meth, and then during the end phase, he would go, hey, I'm gonna summon back, and the Crystal Meth would be like, hell no, then no, no, no. <coughs> Ow, fucking. Made an Eyes of Blue and Wonder One. I haven't seen that play done in a cool minute. I mean, it's not a terrible play. Wow, so he's just gonna bust out multiple of eyes. All right, well, yep. So this is gonna be this is gonna be a tough son of a bitch. But now if he can go into a rank eight play, I can run this over. That's the problem. Because if it's just if it's just two blue eyes or something like that, I'd be fine. I'd be okay. But a rank eight, I mean, I can go into crystal mass, but can't attack over that. <laughs> so ah oh, shit, you know. This is not good. This is not good at all. Ugh. I mean, you could try. I don't think he really cares. I don't think he's gonna negate. Oh, well, he actually didn't get it. Okay, so how do I handle this? Because I gotta pretty much handle both. And of course, this is gonna be a dark matter. It's gonna send more blue eye shit, because why not? Because Dark Matter is totally, totally a, a, a fucking good card. Like, just send three dragons. Like, anything that sends both would, like, like, it just seems like Konami is just retarded when it comes to dragons. Like, oh, yeah, we'll make Dark Matter who sends dragons, a whole bunch of dragons, and then we'll make fucking Gospel, and just like, oh, oh my god. If he summons fucking Chaos Max right now, just rip. Rest in, rest in pepperonis if he summons Chaos Max right now. Seriously, how the fuck do I handle this? If he, just, if he just didn't go into Dark Matter, I could handle it. Or just bait, or just Regeki, bait. Summon, go into Crystal Meth. Crystal Meth, run over this, and then that would go after the end phase and just go to gate. But he got some fucking rank. And that can't get any attack. It's not like he's gonna go off during my turn, so I can't negate him with a Crystal Meth effect. This is, this is going to be one tough, tough one. Oh, and Gospel too? Great. Great, and gospel too. Just in just in case I wanted to do something. God, fucking gospel. Fucking gospel. That's all I have to say. Why? Broken for dragons. Broken for dragons. But Konami doesn't fucking care. They don't fucking care. Uh yeah. Yep. Yep. It's called make an unbreakable board. <laughs> Whoever makes the most unbreakable board wins. Tago's like, yeah, we probably lost. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I can't even think of how we're gonna get out of this. I have Regeki, but he has the, the fucking that, this, and that. Like, oh shit. <laughs> Just the and the gospel. Like, and the gospel. Like, oh my god, this is bad. Like, gospel's like, I get to summon the back from the graveyard and I get to protect. Like, what the fuck? Like, Konami, you got some splaining to do, because that card's broken. Broken. Oh, we're probably fucked. I said I have a Regeki. That's a cool, cool story, bro. But what the fuck is that gonna do, right? What the fuck is that going to do? I don't even get the right Heretic monsters either. Yeah. And he summoned the stars back. Like, yeah. Eh, I get another duel. There's no fucking way. Be right back. We said it. If Tiago had some way, shape, or form of making Infinity over that blade, if the blade was cute, it's like, hey, I, I'm stronger and can attack over this next turn, but Infinity would have just summoned. He would have gone, activate the effect, summon back, you would have been negate, you're done, you know? And you would have the Infinity for um, the next guy. Like, if you just had one more light, because you summon Galaxy Soldier, pitch, Galaxy Soldier, search Galaxy Soldier, you just need one other light, pitch, special summon Infinity, like. Uh, <laughs> like I said, it's the second time where shit already hits the fan before I even fucking take my turn. <laughs> That's twice. 
pitch a gun where a gun will summon nothing to add a gun. Okay. Alright, she has pitched the gun. Summon back to it to summon T S and gun can she not summon gun or doesn't matter. Get Lynn, okay. This is just Mermel's right now. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I thought we were okay. I, I jinxed it. I jinxed it. I was like, all we need is Tree Toad. There he is. <laughs> oh! <laughs> this is Yu Gi Oh! Just make an unbreakable war. Whoever can do it first, you throw in Silent Angler just to make fucking. Oh, Bahama Shark. Yeah, you're gonna get hit. Bahama Shark, you're gonna get hit. Watch. I already know it. Like, you and Ultimaya are just fucking enablers. Fucking stupid ass enablers. You're not even doing the plays right. You want to play a fucking deck with level 2 Aqua Monsters to make Tree Toad? More power to you. But as soon as you get, like, level 4 Aquas involved, it's just like, come on. Come the fuck on, you know? <sighs> well, I can activate pre-prep and then he'll probably go negate. Because if you don't, I'm going to go fucking hella plus on that shit. You don't want that. You don't want me to go plus on this shit. You don't want that. You don't want me to pre-prep. That'd be bad. Because that's a plus one for me. You probably won't be able to use it. Wow, oh, well, you actually let me get it. You actually let me get it, my dog. Okay. I go plus. I go plus. I guess you're just pretty much waiting. You're waiting for something to threaten. I kind of just want to throw the dark hole at him, but I want to see if I can bait him first, you know? Because I would not be surprised if. I could just special summon this, tribute it off, but I'm just legitimately wondering when he's going to negate me. And then I'll just throw the Dark Claw on him when he's already negated. Yeah, I'll take the bait. This is probably like an Abyss or something. You want to negate that? I have the Dark Hole. I am ready. Do I put the Dark Hole in the this deck? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And I still got two Karatek Silver Complications, so I'm still good. This is a sad thing. I mean, I... I guess I could go into a rank 6 play that won't activate. Because going to Ultimaya, if he allows us to go, there's no point in going to Ultimaya, because he'll just negate it, you know? This time, I can actually go into a rank 6 play that will fuck him up, as long as I don't activate, like this that won't activate this time, run over his tree toad, who will die, because he gets to add back, of course, that fucking sucks. And then hopefully Tiger will be able to handle the Bahamut Shark for next turn before it goes around. Unless the other guy also is playing something that involves Bahamut Shark and tree toad and shit, in which case, me. Like, but that is all I have to say about that. This will activate me in the game, so I think I'm just gonna go on four times strike down there and just run over the tree, the tree toad. That works. That works. An activate or anything. So that will go after any damage step and grab you back a water monster. You can put himself back or you can grab back the angler to make another Bahamut shark. Of course. Of course. Like Tree Toad's broken. Like totally, totally, totally awesome. Totally broken, Konami. Totally broken. That's what the card is called. Like you you, you fucked up the name. Like you did. It's called, it's called Totally Broken. <laughs> so that card is like dumb. Like all three of the effects are dumb. Like summon from the dead. That's dumb. The fucking negate anything and then snatch it up. Like snatch it up, my nigga. Snatch it up. Konami, you got some explaining to do. And then that last effect to grab that, of course. So dumb. So, so dumb. So stupid. So, crossing my fingers and hoping that uh, that um. Uh, this other guy's not playing anything that involves totally awesome, because if it does, then fuck. That's that I mean that's literally all I have to say. It's fuck. I'm gonna set this one card. If he, if he does anything to it, then more card to you, but I'm gonna set this one card. Taking out totally awesome and, and him not negating anything is nice. And if you thought that he was gonna be smart and then I summoned something I threatened him that he couldn't just negate, I was just like, I'm just gonna attack over you. Ew. I think I should negate that, because there's nothing good comes from Red, Red Resonator. Like, so Red Resonator is going to summon, and then summon, and then sink, and then probably go into Coral Dragon like this. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, I see the threat already. I'm just gonna go ahead and stop you. You can just go shh, take a thousand now. No additional summon. That's your normal summon. There you go, you're done. Maybe. Maybe. Now, if you got Institution Norton, then just fucking spake my ass and call me Sally. Like, <laughs> but I think you might be done. You should feel unsure. Like, fucking. What, because you lost your totally awesome? Wow, alright. I mean, it's a neg. I mean, I, I risked it. I risked it. I'm thinking that I could set this, hopefully give it to Tiago, he could do something, but. No. So he took a neg on that one. It's not like he pitched an alley or something. Oh, 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 of course. Of course. Uh, <sighs> fucking soul charge, man. Oh my god. Like, Yu Gi Oh! is just broken, man. But this game is legitimately broken. Like, please, Konami, fix. Fix this game. <laughs> yep, going to Carl Dragon, and here we go. Here we go with this fucking rodeo. Yep, oh, and he pitched the Mally, too. Alright, we're fucked. Alright, yep, yep, we're fucked. Yay, Soul Charger, so fair. So fair, so, so, so much fair. So much fair. <laughs> Oh, look at that. He had nothing. I stopped him. And then he took the negative to Twitcher just to pitch arm again. Like, it's neg, but then still charge. And now look. Now it's just going. I hate you, yo. <laughs> oh my god. This fucking game is cancer. This game is cancer. <laughs> scoop. Scoop. We lose. We lose. That's it. That's it. Scoop. It's the third time in this fucking video. Like, yesterday's video was tumor, this video is tumor, the live stream's gonna be tumor, can't, like, oh my god, like, it's a malignant tumor. Like, it's just going all through the body, all through the body. Yeah, like, what the fuck do you do against this? At least you got the Regeki, you still gotta deal with the Beals, but at least that's nice. Fucking Regeki's stupid too, this game. This game is so, so dumb, so dumb. Oh, this game, this game is dumb. <laughs> This game is dumb. <laughs> Why is the kick even legal? <laughs> like, I have no bias. I have no bias. That was dumb, too. It's like, ah, Regeki. No. No. <laughs> Here's proof that the game is fair. How? How is that fair? How is that fair? That's fair. You set, you establish a board. You establish <laughs> a, a board, a, a good, a good board. Board. And we blow it away with skillless ass Regeki. Oh, you're being you're being uh, you're being sarcastic. Okay, let's say like that's not fair. I have no bias. When I see something is broken, it's broken. Like Soul Charge, the card's broken. Regeki, that card's broken. Like this game. Like, you don't play. You just... <laughs> Whoever makes the best board wins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Totally about that. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Fairness. Fair... <laughs> ah! Look at that. Mmm. Whoever makes the best board wins. <laughs> and, and of course, doesn't get Rege wiped with Regeki. So, I guess Regeki in that sense is like a peacekeeper. Cause it's like, hey! Yeah? Seriously. Yep. Yep. Maybe it was cancer. <laughs> Someone's cancer! <laughs> yep. Someone that bag. You have to strike, so that's nice. But. Sorry, I got the soul charge. Like, I, I can't say anything because you also have the soul charge. So it's only fair. It's only fair that we, everybody gets soul charge. Everybody gets soul charge. <sighs> so now what? Make the Serene Gate play and make another. Oh, you can tribute that off. Someone got uh, out of the expedition and go into infinity. Yep. Yep. What? Hello? Hello? Are you, are you doing something that I don't see? Because I would have summoned Galaxy Soldier. 
like light. You know, when you get what was always going first. It's just, it was less likely that you wanted to go first with the whole rule chain. It's like, well, you don't draw the additional cards. So it's like, well, I only start at five. I go first. My opponent would run for six cards, so I'm already at a deficit. But then now it's back to just going first and going plus off your place. Because it's like, fuck you. You know, I used to start off with five, but then I can desire, and I can go up to plus six, and then just, uh... Hold on. Okay, never mind. They, they quit. Uh... So I was asking that despite that he can't attack, he can go into Cypher Blade. I mean Cypher, I and mean, then just Cypher I guess to snatch up the bills. Maybe he had like another I don't know. Like I would have went Galaxy Expedition, summoned another uh soldier, 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 infinity snatch up. I, uh, I was not using Sol uh, infinity proper in this video in this video at all. Anyway, anyway, we're done here. It's a little bit longer than usual, but that's fine. Episode 999. Okay, I mean, you, you saw it both ways. In the next turn, what was I gonna do? Infinity and the Ultimate Zulkin. Then what's he gonna do? Infinity, Ultimate Zulkin, the Tree Tail. Like, we all just had broken ass plays. Like, if your deck can't go into a fucking shit that can negate everything, then you're just not playing Yu Gi Oh! And, you know, you're just not doing it right. Or just completely out resource and spam your opponent. Or spot pop them with like ABCs and stuff. God damn. This game, like, what happened to this game? <laughs> But yeah, I was talking about the desires, and then you're, you know what the rule, and then you go like plus five to eight off of your fucking Zodiac B, so who fuck it, I'll go first. Or I'll just go fucking hella plus off of my fucking ABC plays with my field spell. Fuck it. You get it, right? <laughs> so, I can't wait. My break sounds better and better each day that we play with this cancer. And I'm part of the cancer, but at least I'm not biased, you know? And at least I'm not like, oh man, he fucked us up a minute so we can't play, and then turn around and be like, oh man. Oh man, we're so great, we made it so we, they can't play. Oh my god, so much skill, you know, I'm not biased. When I see something broken, whether we do it or they do it, it's just stupid, because it's just you can for you, but hey. So, like I said, tomorrow is the live stream, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Pacific time, so if you guys can join me, that would be great. I'd be very appreciative. We're going to have plenty of tag partners that are joining us, and it's going to be awesome. We're going to play with all the decks that are currently on Daily Duel. We're going to, you know, probably tweak them and make them do all that fun stuff. We got four, of course, the stream, and then Daily Duels will be over, like I said. I mean, we'll still have the new series, such as Daily, uh, Daniel Duels, which is pretty much by my live stream, except I play anything. And just like how Vitamin Y was every day, but then turned into a live stream, we're pretty much doing the same thing with Daily Duels, in a sense. It's just, we're not going to call it the same thing, because Daily Duels is over. You know, we stop, we're stopping at a thousand, it's over, you know, we're done. Uh, I'll be taking that break, getting league ready. You know, a lot of the people who are joining us uh, for the live stream will be part of the league, so I look forward to that as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed some of the Daily Duels. Then I wanted to make it a little bit longer for you guys. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with the live stream. Looking forward to it. All right, people, thanks for watching.